Hey everyone, welcome to the latest Mount Vernon vlog. My name is Ethan and thanks again for joining us today. One question we get a lot from visitors online on our YouTube channel and also here at the estate is, why isn't George Washington buried at the Capitol building in Washington, DC? I'm gonna go to the Capitol in the Capitol and I'm gonna speak to someone there about the history behind why Washington isn't buried in Washington. And then after that, I'm actually gonna get up close and personal with some evidence that Washington himself wrote uh, where he specifically states that he wants to be buried here at home at Mount Vernon. And then after that, we're gonna come back to Mount Vernon and we're gonna visit the final resting place of the general. If also, if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, please subscribe, it's on the top right corner, press the button, and if you click on that, you can click on a little alarm bell and you can get a notification for every time we upload a video. All right, so awesome, let's, uh, let's check out the Capitol. At the Capitol, we met with Dr. Michelle Cohen, who walked us through the history of why Washington isn't buried there and what plans were made for him. So in 1799, that was when the original legislation was passed by Congress to transfer, George, well, to bury George Washington um, in the Capitol, and that's when Martha Washington agreed on a condition that she also would be buried next to her husband. But at that time, there was no physical Capitol completed. The next uh, benchmark in this chronology would be in 1816 when a committee was established by Congress to re-examine the issue of creating a proper burial site for George Washington. That didn't go too far because um, this was right after the War of 1812 and the Capitol was still being reconstructed because of the damage it suffered under the British invasion. By 1832, though, I think there was a lot of sort of Washington mania because it was the centennial of the birth. So interestingly enough, what happened then in 1832, yet another effort was made by Congress to have these remains transferred. And because of opposition by some of one of Washington's descendants, um, and also I believe the Virginia state legislature that wanted to keep Washington's remains in Virginia, that effort failed. Had anything been built for him to be placed inside the Capitol? And in 1829, we have documentation about a proposal, but I'm not actually certain all of it was carried out. So I can describe what the tomb area looks like today. But you brought some photos of the tomb to share with us, correct? Yes, I did. Because nobody can go there. Right, it's not a location that's open to the general public. To me, the thing that's really intriguing is this star. Now, on the crypt level, one floor above, we have what's famously known as the Compass Stone. And that is the center of Washington, D.C., the point at which the four quadrants radiate. So it's very important to consider that the conception for Washington's tomb was in the physical center of the Capitol and the center of Washington, D.C. Next, we are off to the Fairfax County Courthouse to view George Washington's will of which he specifically stated he wanted to be buried at Mount Vernon. Professor Bill Ferrero, an expert on the will, was kind enough to meet us there to review it. This is page 27, near the end of the 29-page will. Washington sets off a clear indentation of a paragraph that's devoted to where he wants to be buried. And that paragraph says, a family vault at Mount Vernon requiring repairs and being improperly situated besides, I desire that a new one of brick and upon a larger scale may be built at the foot of what is commonly called the vineyard enclosure on the ground, which is marked out, in which my remains, with those of my deceased relatives, now in the old vault, and such others of my family as may choose to be entombed there, may be deposited. So this makes it unarguable that Washington wanted to be buried at Mount Vernon. The um, decision by John Adams to seek the permission of Martha Washington to have George Washington buried in the Capitol building in Washington, D.C., to which Martha approved, it, it's hard to know what Martha was thinking because it clearly is here, but when she dies, that whole initiative is squelched by the other executors of Washington's will, notably George Washington Park Custis, saying no, it's his clear intention it needs to be buried here at Mount Vernon. George Washington Park Custis Lawrence Lewis coordinated and had the new vault of brick built. So even before George Washington died, he was larger than life already in the public eye. So for him to, to state specifically that he wanted to be buried at home, I think is a pretty modest move. 
Yeah, for a modest move, it also shows his deep attachment and abiding attachment to Mount Vernon. But the general idea that his home would be preserved, maintained, appropriately shared as a way to in, encourage the kinds of ideals that were important to him, I think he would, he would find gratifying in, in, uh, in accordance with his wishes as he expresses in the will. And finally, we set off to the General's final resting place, his beloved Mount Vernon. Hey Jeremy, how are you doing today? Doing well, thank you. Thanks for uh, taking the time to meet with me. We're going to be checking out the two tombs that Washington was buried in, correct? Correct. First the old tomb, and then we're going to walk over to the new tomb. He wrote his will in his study in there. Yeah, if you look through the right-hand side, that right door, uh, that first floor in that room is his private study. You want to go uh, check out the old tomb first? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's do it. Oh, wow. Martha and George were both buried in here? Yes, General Washington and Mrs. Washington were both buried in this tomb, which we now refer to as the Old Tomb. Okay. It was the first built by George Washington's older half-brother, Lawrence Washington. Okay, so do you want to go check out the new tomb now? Yes, we can do that. All right, let's go do it. Why is it called the new tomb? Well, as we saw before, there was a tomb constructed by Washington family members before. Uh, General Washington knew that that space was inadequate uh, for use was not in the best condition uh, so he marked out this space here to have a new tomb constructed mm -hmm. out of brick uh, so that's just kind of what we call it now an old tomb and the new tomb that was eventually built this is the final resting place of george washington yes this is the tomb in which george washington is a church you can see him there on the right wow that's that and that but that's a sarcophagus right yes it is what year was it officially finished being built that's an excellent question because it was built in many different stages. On the back wall, you can see an iron door. That section of the tomb was completed 1831, 1832, and that was when General Washington, Mrs. Washington, and other family members were moved here. However, as I mentioned before, General Washington is in the sarcophagus on the outside. Mm -hmm. That was a gift from a Philadelphia artisan in 1837. And despite taking careful measurements, the sarcophagus didn't fit in the door in the back. Wait, really? Yes. So, so by 18, is that why he's out here? Oh. Yes, yeah, so that's why he's out here. In 1839, all of this outer section was completed, and we have this vestibule area where General Washington and Mrs. Washington are at rest. Okay. Well, this has been quite the journey, and I hope that after this video, our viewers will see why Washington is buried at Mount Vernon. Thanks for wrapping up the story with us. Well, you're very welcome, and to your visitors, I hope to see you out here someday. Great, thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for joining me on that little adventure. I hope you learned something new about the man himself. And we got another one coming up for you in a week and a half. I think you're really gonna like it. It's really cool. I've had a lot of fun working on it. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, you can click the button on the top right hand of your screen and you can click a little alarm bell and you can get a notification for every time we release a new video. So you can catch and keep up with everything that we're doing here at Mount Vernon. So thanks again for joining and I'll see you next time.